can you go over the reasons why patients undergo labiaplasty? Yeah, as you already know, I do a lot of labiaplasties and I've been doing labiaplasties since 1999. I know that dates me and I've done over 1500 labiaplasties. It's one of my favorite surgeries to do, primarily because of how thankful the patients are. Uh, when the women come in for consultations, they're usually shy, they are a little intimidated uh, and nervous. And so once they come into the office, and even before they come into the office, uh, talking on the phone to all of the women who work here are really, we're all very understanding um, of the situation. And I've heard so many reasons why women want to have it done. Um, obviously it can be aesthetic. They go, I just want my labia to look uh, a little cuter, a little more symmetric. Uh, some people call it neat, clean, tidy, you know, all those issues. Obviously that's more of a visual aesthetic issue. issue. But then other issues such as dis discomfort. So it can be discomfort in clothing. And I've had a lot of women go, you know, when I wear jeans, it really pinches, uh, very uncomfortable, or with yoga pants, extremely uncomfortable. The other thing I've heard is with sacs, you know, the, the length of the labia minora is too long and it gets pulled and tugged with intercourse. And so they're uncomfortable and they don't want to tell their partner, they're embarrassed about it. And so they're more worried about the pain and discomfort than actually enjoying sex. So that's another issue. Um, and then there can be hygiene issues where uh, due to the length of the labia, there's just a lot of excess tissue in that area and, and tends to accumulate moisture. They feel like they're always moist. And sometimes the increase in moisture can lead to a uh, slightly higher risk of yeast infections along with the other uh, uh, reasons for yeast infection. This can kind of add or contribute to it. Uh, and um, I've actually had a patient referred by, a, uh, by her um, pediatrician. Uh, so she was quite young, obviously, to be referred by a pediatrician, uh, but she was getting a lot of recurrent uh, bladder infections or UTIs, and, it, and she did have very large labia, so the pediatrician um, was concerned that this may be contributing um, to the moisture buildup and the bacteria buildup in that area. So I have heard, um, every uh, reason and sometimes even I'm surprised by um, all the reasons. I had one young lady who was just um, so embarrassed and so unhappy because she actually was a waitress um, in a resort where um, she used to be uh, serve uh, people uh, outside around the pool and had to wear uh, a lot of times a swimsuit and a bikini and her labia was, she was so embarrassed because of the size of labia, it actually came out and she just basically quit that job and went somewhere else after that. So I've heard all these issues and also patients. I mean, I've had obviously young patients, it's more rare, but I've had patients referred by the pediatricians and those patients usually come in with their parents and moms uh, for that issue. Um, I've had patients that are oldest in the 70s come in because they finally realize that something can be done. Most of the patients are um, in the 20s and 30s um, and all walks of life, students, um, teachers, uh, doctors, lawyers, airline pilots, uh, acrobats. So really, it really cuts through, you know, it's a, it's a slice of normal society. So uh, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's a great easy treatment um, and recovery is actually quite fast even though the first three to four days are tough because of the swelling not from the pain uh, but from the swelling but within a month you actually look quite great and you can resume all activities.